my creeping, crawling critters, and welcome to Nightmare on Glitter Street. This is my brand new Halloween series, and today I'm going to be bringing you inside my creepy haunted house. It's filled with witches, zombies, pumpkins, skeletons, and spider webs. And this is the biggest set that I have ever built. So like the title says, this is an interactive video. And if you could find the creepy clue hidden within this haunted video, it will take you on a fun Glitterween journey that will lead you to a picture of my next Glitterween tutorial. Be the first creepy crawling critter to guess the title of my next Glitterween tutorial right, and you will win a spooky treat from my haunted house. Please subscribe to become an official creepy crawling critter, because only a creepy crawling critter will win a treat. Please leave your comments below this video only you may leave as many guesses as you please. And the first creepy critter to guess the title of my next video right will be revealed when I upload my next Glitterween tutorial. But please, do not tell where the photos lie, for you are only ruining your own destiny. Shh, it's our little secret. But first, you must find the creepy clue. Good luck, my creepy crawling critters. Have fun. All right, my spooky glitter critters. So this is the front of my haunted room. Now the ceiling and the left wall and the back over there, that is all black visqueen. And I got that at Lowe's to make the entire haunted house. Me and my mom used paper clips to clip up all of this gauze. So let's start out with this little sign. I got this one at the Dollar Tree. And this little skeleton. Then of course my black boa is up here. And I wore that last year in my videos. And oh, it's a scary spider. So this is my little furry spider. This is a big spider web. And I think I got that at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I have my little bat. So moving over, these are some little lanterns that I got at the Dollar Tree. So this is Walter, and my fiance David actually named him Walter. He has an aura of orange lights around him, and he is holding this sling blade, I guess. I have a sign here that says morgue, and it's kind of torn up and stuff, but hey, it kind of adds to it. There's moss right up there. And we have a ton of moss down here in the south. So this little guy here is my little skeleton Grim Reaper. And I got him at the Dollar Tree, I think. And let's see, Walter, he's holding another one there. And he's just white and gray. These little pictures here, look how cool. So if you look from this side, she's a normal person. And then if you move over to this side, she changes into this really scary skeleton person. The next thing is this little sign here. And it's a pumpkin and it's wooden and it says trick or treat. So this one says spell and potions at the witch's inn established 1527. This one says dead end cemetery and this is a metal sign and I think I got that at the Halloween store a long time ago. So over here I just put my little Halloween hats that I'm going to be wearing in my future Halloween tutorials and I have this foam gravestone right here. So moving over this is my little Frankenstein lantern here and let's see let's move on this one says beware of zombies and of course zombies are so awesome and moving over ah oh my gosh it's henry winkler and yes david named him henry winkler which is also known which is the real actor that plays the fawns on happy days and i'm sure a lot of y'all are way too young to know what that show is but i'm a huge fan of happy days his body is pillows his hands he got those at the halloween store so moving on to the shelf here i have this little spider web with glow in the dark spiders that came with it all over it so I have these two gravestones here. I think I got those in a set at Walmart. And of course, here's another scary picture. So these little headstones here, I thought these were so cute. I got them at the Dollar Tree. And this one says, Stay Scary. And this one says, Rest in Peace, R.I.P. This is my little skull. He doesn't look very real, but hey, you know, he's all right. So this little pumpkin here, I also got this at the Dollar Tree. 
and of course it's just a little fun. This shelf is kind of bare. I didn't really have much else to go on it. But this is my little glitter ween skull that I had in my videos last year. And moving on to my zombie feeding area sign. So this is my little witch. And I really don't know how long I've had her, but as you can see, her nose is like completely gone and it's like a foam hole. So next, this is my little skeleton here and I think I got him at the dollar store a long time ago. And his eyes are supposed to light up, but I haven't put a battery in him yet. So here's some more of these really spooky pictures. So if you move a little, look, he turns into like a scary skeleton or something like that. And the next one are these two men here and they look like they're just chilling trying to take a picture. And then all of a sudden, ah, they turn into skeletons. I have my wings here that I wore in my dark fairy tutorial last year. Y'all should seriously go watch some of my old Halloween tutorials and you'll see a lot of this stuff. It'll be really familiar to you. So next, here's my Caution Zombies tape. And oh yeah, here's another one of my beware signs and it has the little guy on it who looks really scary. So this is the last sign on this wall and I had this in my videos last year too and it says which way hurry they're coming. <laughs> I set up this little table just for decoration and just to look super cute and it has one of another one of the little foam pumpkins on it and then I also have some fake and of course candy corn and the really really cute pumpkin candy corns and this is like a little house and it has skulls on it and it says happy Halloween and I got these in a set at the Goodwill for only 99 cents I thought it was such a great deal and of course I just have some more candy corns and eyeballs at the bottom here alright so of course I saved the best things for last and that is this really amazing and very realistic graveyard that my mom built so I give her credit for it it has the little headstone at the top and she put this little crow at the top of it here is more of the grave and what she did was she put like this here she filled it with a pillow or something to make it look really really fluffy and on top of the grave she put real rocks then she also used some limestone which are these white rocks to pretty much border the grave to make it look really realistic these here are actually little foam bones so they're not real bones they're not heavy at all ew I just got blood all over me sorry dead person I took some of your blood she also put these really icky rats on it so here's one of the rats this is another one of the rats it's supposed to look like he was eating something dead on the grave it is sitting on an actual table I forgot to mention that and on the bottom of the grave she put some signs like dead zone and of course another one of those little skeleton guys so my mom filled this grave with leaves as well and she also put this chain here to make it look really realistic so for the last and final decoration it is my cauldron that I just got at Walmart for like 20 bucks and all you have to do is put water in it and it changes colors it's so cool I've been playing with this thing like crazy I'm such a little kid when it comes to cool little things like this or novelty things and on the outside of it, it has these scary snakes and it's supposed to look old and weathered so here is a complete ending pan of the entire room because this haunted house tour is officially over me and my mom use paper clips to clip up all of this gauze and it changes colors why hello I see you haven't left did you find the clue if you haven't click here and play again I thank you so much for watching and visiting my haunted house and have a happy glitter ween <laughs>